Hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is with pine cones. So pine cones are designed by Mother Nature to open up when they're dry so they have a better chance to reseed um, another tree, right? So, but can we reverse that? And the answer is yes, and we're going to do that in today's experiment. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a pine cone in a little bit of water <clears throat> and we're going to time lapse it and we're going to see if it'll close all the way up. And then for the second experiment, what we're going to do is put the wet pine cone that's closed up uh, into the oven and we're going to see if we can heat it up to get it back to uh, being dry and open up. So we're going to do that next and the science behind it. Please remember to click that subscribe button as we'll have a new experiment every week. So the first experiment is just a jar with uh, room temperature water and a pine cone, which I put a couple fishing weights on um, to hold it down. Otherwise, the pine cone wants to float to the top and I just thought it looked better this way. So now I've got it into time lapse mode. So it's taking a picture and it won't take as long to see the results. And you'll be able to see the pine cone start to close up, which is pretty amazing. Uh, interesting fun fact is pi this is uh, pine cones are male and female and the hard pine cones like this hard shell are female pine cones. And there you go. It took about two and a half hours to fully close up in room temperature water. So now the second experiment, I'm going to add one experiment. I'm putting a hot tap water this time. Same thing with two fishing weights. I'm going to turn the jar off and then start it in time lapse mode again. Um, and uh, I just wanted to see if it was going to be a different results, and it was totally different. You could see it closing so much quicker um, in the hot tap water compared to the room temperature water. It took two and a half hours, a very long time. This is almost completely done, and it only took just about an hour to close all the way. So the hot water definitely affects the pine cone and closes a lot quicker, which I thought was really cool. So the science behind pine cones is, did you know that female pine cones open and close depending on the weather? It's true. When uh, the female pine cone is warm and in a dry place, the pine cone opens up and exposes the cone seeds, which is in a damp and cold place. The scales close up tightly, as we saw in the water. That's how the female pine cone protects its seeds. She keeps them safe in the rain and cold air. And watch, as we watch this time uh, lapse in the video, you saw that in the action. So when you put your pine cones in the water, um, they, it's wet, and so they'll close up. And when you put them in the oven, it's dry, and they open up. And that's, so that's pretty much the science behind the pine cone on how it protects its seeds. Look in the description for more fun facts and science about pine cones and males and females and how they pollinate. Um, and I have one more experiment. So we start the oven at 350 degrees and make sure you have adult supervision here and you take your pine cones that we just closed up with the water and we put them into the oven and um, we're going to, in 15 minutes now, we're going to do every 15 minutes. We can see they're starting to open up a little bit. Um, remember the oven was set at 350 degrees. Um, 30 minutes later, you can see they're starting to open up as they dry up. Uh, the pine cone uh, is being tricked because it thinks it's warm weather. Uh, we're 45 minutes and it's starting to open up almost all the way. The one on the left a little bit slower than the one on the right. One hour at 350 degrees and it's getting very, very close. Uh, maybe just one more check on this and we'll see. And here we go. Uh, the last one, they're completely opened at one hour and 15 minutes. A very fun experiment. Uh, please remember to comment below. I got the results next. Here we were. Took two hours and 30 minutes for the regular temperature, uh, room temperature water, and the hot tap water, which surprised me, only took one hour.